guys, this is Matt Kids in one. Um, today I will be doing a review on a terminal application um called iTerm. Um, you can download this. Um, either go to iTerm's website or in the in the description of this video, I will have a link directly to the downloads page. Um, so let me just show you how iTerm works. Um, it'll, it'll just download as iTerm.app. Right here. Um, I don't want to get the update, but I maybe I'll get it later. So right here is my iTerm window. I've already customized it a bit. Um, and if you, of course, go to iTerm Preferences, you can customize it. I like my cursor type being underlined. If you like it being vertical, vertical then it can look like this line, more like text edit. Or you can make it a box, like in real terminal. Um, I, I'm going to keep it underlined. And, um, of course, you can set all these. I don't like the... the um, scroll bars so I got rid of those display refreshing rate under general means how fast the display refreshes so if I have it on fast and I type a command that keeps on spewing out stuff it, it looks like it's scrolling really fast if I change this to slowest then it, it takes a long time like it only refreshes every second so I keep that at fast um, so that that's how that works um, you can set all these other ones. Tabbing is cool. Like if you type CD space slash and you want to go to applications, if you type CD space app, then hit tab, it'll type applications for you because applications is the only thing in slash that starts with APP. Okay. So that's another thing. Um, iTerm also has a URL handler. So if I type HTTP colon slash slash MacHeads101.com, and click that, I can make it go to that. Um, I don't have that set up though. You can also, if you click this button, you can type a file to execute, click bookmarks and add a bookmark for a server, namely. Um, there's of course a close button, a customize button. Not that much stuff we can add there. And of course a new default bonjour and I'd like they they have a nice tab system set up there um so yeah um I'm also going to show you how to use iterm or terminal to make a message um so this is not really part of the review I've already done the iterm review it's great uh I rather use terminal still, um, but of course, anywhere you can type Xterm and it'll open up X11's terminal application. But I don't like that. It's it, that is X Windows, in fact, though. Um, and that's iTerm. So this is how to use iTerm terminal, or even if you use a terminal dashboard widget, how to make a message come up. And right now, this message comes up. It says notice to users, and then a copyright thing, and etc. So. Uh, let me just show you how to how to set this up with any terminal or any putty SSH. In. First, you want to open terminal or xterm or iterm. Type cd space tilde or just type cd, just cd and hit enter. Then type cd space desktop with a capital D. Then type nano space mot d. Now you want to just type the message that you want to come up when you turn on your computer. So I'll just type Joe. Okay. Then press Control X. Then press Y. Then hit Enter. So now on your desktop you should have something called MotD. Now you can open this with text edit or do whatever to edit it some more. After you're done editing it and making it good, you want to type M V. And actually, here's here's you want to type sudo space, and you need to be an admin to do this. Then sudo space mv space mot d space slash etsy slash mot d. Then hit enter. And if you're already logged in as root, you won't need to type your password. But if you aren't, then you'll need to type your password. And um, so that that's um that. So now when we open up terminal, it says my message, which was Joe. Now. I've actually had one that is better, so I'll just get that one back. Um, but that is how to make 
a message when that comes up and that will also that message will also come up and this is pretty cool in my opinion um, that message also comes up when someone SSHs to you for instance um, so that that's that's useful um, so if if you want to make a message come up like stop SSHing to me then you can do that um, so that's pretty cool and so let me just get my Mati back okay so there's Mati so now I'll just CD and CD desktop and now I'll just type move mod D to slash etc slash motd mod D. Okay, so now when I open terminal, it's it's that other mod D file, and you can make your own mod D file um, and just move it over to Etsy mod D. Now the thing is that with this, the permissions on mod D might be so that no one can read them. So what you want to do is you want to type cd space slash etc slash mot or slash etc. Then hit enter. Now you want to type ls first of all. And make sure you're in the right place. Bwd for it slash etsy. So now you want to type chmod chmod space seven five five space mot d, and that means that now everyone will be able to read the mot d file, and everyone will be able to see see the mod file when they open up terminal and it works with everything it works with iterm anything really it only it only I can't imagine where it wouldn't work so yeah um so that that that's that that's how to use um iterm and that's also how to make a message of the day mod d stands for message of the day that comes up when you log in so thank you for watching that kids in a one um I would like it if you subscribed if you haven't already. Um, check out our website, matkids1.com. Maybe make an account there, upload your stuff. Um, and goodbye.